Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome to my brand new Let's Play series and my favorite movie of all time. Let's play Home Alone for the NES. And you're seeing it right there, right in front of your freaking face. <laughs> Believe it or not, this game was brought to us by Bethesda Softworks. The same Bethesda Softworks that brought us the Elder Scrolls games and the Fallout series and a bunch of other things too. But at a... <laughs> In an earlier time in their collective lives, they put out this piece of shit. And I don't use that term lightly, like, this game is a burning, steaming pile of horse feces that was smeared all over an airplane pilot's face, and because of that, the plane just plummets down into the ground and explodes on impact, destroying all the lives aboard. <laughs> that is what this game is. However, I love it. It's a game that I, I grew up playing a lot as a young kid. Uh, my neighbor had it, and so after school we'd go over there all the time and try to beat this fucking thing, but we only did it once, because this game is fucking hard, and I'll explain when we get into it. And on another note, too, this is actually the first Christmas-themed game that I've played during Christmas time in my entire career. I've actually never done this before, so this is really cool. And go figure, it'd be my favorite fucking movie series there ever was, so how awesome. So, without further ado, my friends, let's get down to business, and I will tell you some interesting factoids about this this movie and, you know, meanwhile I dissect this thing and try to tell you what the fuck's going on. So, welcome to the McAllister residence that kinda sorta looks like their house? I don't... it's hard to say. So the premise of the game is, what we have to do here, that little, that little green line is me, apparently. I didn't realize that I was green and just in the shape of a rectangle. But what we have to do here is, we have to avoid Harry and Marv in the house for 20 minutes, and I'm not talking like weird video game logic 20 minutes where it's not really that, it's more like 5. No, we're talking an actual, real life 20 minutes. And we do that, obviously, the way that he did it in the movie, by dropping traps all over the place. And it gets pretty ridiculous after a while. By the way, that's, that's Harry down there, and he's wearing all red, and that always bothered the fucking shit out of me, because at no point during the movie was he ever wearing red. And whenever we get to see Marv, he's wearing all green, and he at no point during the movie was wearing green. So it's just, it's like this weird collection of just wrong colors everywhere. Like during the, during this scene here, like Kevin was the one that was wearing the red sweater, which for whatever reason Harry's wearing now. Oh god, it's Marv! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, we're doing the moonwalk. That was tight. <laughs> he was just like stunting on him. He's like, hey, fucker. Hey, hey, I got you, bitch. And then he just like struts off down the way there. So the only way that you can access the basement outside of the way that I just came in is by randomly knowing that you can just kind of show up by warping right up here. It's, it's just the weirdest thing. Like there's no particular rhyme or reason for why that would work that way, but it does. And one thing I will give this game, as far as like you know, being accurate in ways, is like the plate, like the placement of of traps that you can pick up, is awesome. Like they have, and they have like all of the iconic things from the movie too. Like they've got uh, my active trap that I have right now is uh, the fucking the hot thing that he put on the door, and we got light bulbs everywhere, and we've got um, like the the giant tarantula is definitely upstairs in the attic over here. So when I get the opportunity, I'll totally go get that. Which, by the way, in the movie, uh, like one of the iconic parts of the movie where uh, where Marv, uh, where Kevin puts the fucking he puts the the, uh, the tarantula from Buzz's room on on Marv's face, and then he has like the crazy scream. Uh, he actually in the movie, like when they were filming it, he actually didn't scream. Like he just made the facial expressions of him screaming because he was afraid that if he actually screamed that he was gonna, he would have scared the spider into actually biting him, and so he just decided that he was gonna, you know, just do that part of it, you know, just do like the facial expression, and then, you know, in post they would go add the audio to it. So, that was, that was weird. Um, and uh, they actually, he also had like, something in his contract where he would only allow them to, oh no, what the hell? Oh, that's fucked up! I totally put a trap right there, and he just like didn't even do it. He's like, ah, oh, what the what the hell is this? I don't even need it. So here's the here's the big bummer, and this is why this game is hard: is that if you get caught one time, you get to start all over again. Oh yeah, 
That's why I fucking hate this game. That's what really kills me. That's what makes the boner just go right down to nothing. So fast. Which is really weird, because, like, normally when you put traps on the stairs, like, they totally work. But, hey, what do you do? Oh, the nails. Oh, God, the nails. That nail part was is gross. It still freaks me out, but it's still really funny. Like, just, like, the concept of developing tetanus from that is just... Ugh. But, yeah, so there's that. Um, I kind of wish they would have had some other parts from the movie in this game. Like, I, I mean, obviously this is the most popular part of, of the movie, but for God's sakes, like, it would have been cool, like, having a level where... Like, where they're trying to get to the airport. He's doing it again! <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I fucking love when he does that. Um, it would have been tight if, like, they had, like, a, a part of the game where you're trying to get to uh, the airport. Because that, I mean, that part was pretty hectic on its own, so that would have been pretty cool. Um, dude, Kevin is motoring right now. I mean, he is, he has got, he has his Night Ranger just on point right now. Look at how fast he's scaling that thing. It's freaking crazy. Oh, the iron. Yeah. Gotta love the iron. Dude, the part right here, though, in the movie where, where, uh, um, where Harry tries to open the door and he gets the blowtorch to the face, dude, that, that one still makes me cringe extra bad. Oh, shit. Okay, these guys are getting abnormally close. They're getting too close. Oh, God. I had something over here. Ah! Oh! Oh boy, I don't know how I got away from that one. That was... Oh no, here comes Marv. Oh no! I don't know where there's anything over here! Oh no, no, no. Oh god. Okay. The one thing I love though... Oh god! The one thing I love about this game is that they totally will give you an audio cue to let you know that somebody actually hit the trap. Like, that's, that's good news. However, I don't like that they like... I don't know, it looks like they, like, compress all weird, like, they do, like, the accordion thing that you see in cartoons. Here we go. Oh, God. The controllers are really messed up in this game, though. Like, to go up and down stairs, you gotta be, like, right on the fucking money with that. Otherwise, you're not going anywhere. The basement is a great, like, you know, kind of a ace in the whole area to go. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, don't do that, you fucking idiot. Oh my god, this is getting bad. It's a good thing that, like, you can reuse traps all you want in this, which is awesome, so... Dude, the mu- okay, for, I will say one thing, like, I don't particularly like the music in this game, but it's so catchy. Like, that's the part that gets me. Like, I can't even tell you how many times I'll just sit here and listen to this, just because I can't, like, I don't know, it- it's just like, I don't know, it's only it's just engraved in my skull that I kind of like it. But it's really not that good. <laughs> but I still like it anyways. You know what I wish that they had? I wish that they would have had as a trap, um, like a photo of Buzz's girlfriend. <laughs> that you could like, that you could like, uh, just like hit him in the face with. Obviously that wouldn't even make any sense, but I think it would be funny. Um, just like being scared by the horrifying nature. <laughs> Buzz, your girlfriend, woof, oh god, okay, I didn't, oh no, ah, I tried to be all, you know, tight shit and time that thing, and it did not work, not one bit, god damn it, I'm probably not gonna beat this, let's just be honest with ourselves here, it's, it's probably not gonna happen, but, you know, what do you do, we'll just, we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep trying here. But yeah, actually, I, I learned something about, uh, the whole Buzz's girlfriend thing that's particularly interesting. Um, Buzz's girlfriend, like, in that picture, that's not even a girl, so no wonder why she's so goddamn hideous looking. But it's actually the, uh, the art director, uh, that was actually a picture of his son, uh, dressed up like a girl. Which is even, I don't know, I, like, the reason why they did it, um, uh, was, you know, to not, like, when, when he's like, oh, Buzz, your girlfriend, woof, like, they, he did, like, they didn't want to make it seem, like, so demeaning to, to women, and so instead he just decided to, you know, ruin his son's public image, I suppose, by <laughs> doing that whole thing. And so, yeah, the, uh, Buzz's girlfriend in the picture, actually totally a dude. So, hey, so sometimes, uh, the more you know. Da -na -na -na. Oh my god, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today. My stomach's been uh, rumbling and a bumbling and stumbling. Went to a Christmas party last night, and I actually we did like white elephant stuff, 
and it was super sick because I got, uh, I bought a, uh, like, a little Nerf gun as my little entry into it, and, uh, oh, shit, oh, no, this isn't gonna be good, this is gonna be bad, there we go, fuck, I got an idea, I know how to shake these bastards off, yeah, we're gonna go this way, uh-huh, and you got nothing on me now. It's kind of weird that, like, if they hit a trap while they're, you know, scaling that thing, that they that they don't actually, like, they just fall on the actual, tr like, you'd think if they hit a trap on that, they would fall off, but they totally don't. Fuck. Yeah, that's one thing that they, they kind of get you with, is they don't tell you necessarily where Harry and Marv are at. Like, that's, that's the tough part. You gotta just kind of figure it out on your own. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. By the way, I, I learned another. I, I learned a lot of new things about Home Alone over the last like week or so. That apparently Home Alone is like a huge like national treasure in Poland. In Poland of all places, it's so weird. Um, but apparently after uh, like after communism failed there. Oh god, where's Marv at? Oh god, damn it! Fuck you, Marv! Fuck you, bitch! God, I just want to have the scene where he just pops his head out of the little thing in the door. Hello! Booch! Ah! Ah! Gee! A little jerk is armed! <laughs> but, um, yeah, dude, apparently after f communism, like, failed in Poland, Home Alone ter apparently was, like, one of the one of the very first, like, Western films that was ever shown in their country, and now it's aired on TV, um, like, on national TV, like, every year since 1990. So, pretty much ever since it came out, they're just like, oh my god, this movie! This movie! It is the greatest thing! It is now our national treasure! Oh shit. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, dude, super tight. Like, I'd love to go to Poland if they're gonna be showing that on TV all the time. I'm super down with that. Another thing, and I actually kind of made mention of this once a long time ago in, uh, in one of my... I think it was like a pinball arcade video I was doing, and I, I had mentioned something about this, but there was, uh, there was a scene that uh, Christopher Columbus... <laughs> The guy that discovered America, not not the not the director, but the guy that actually discovered that this place was actually here and full of native people. So I guess he didn't actually discover it. It was already there. Are already people here. Oh god. Oh. Oh shit. I'm out of traps. Oh fuck. We gotta go. We gotta go. You gotta run up those stairs like Jackie Joyner Kersey right now. Here we go. So he uh, he had an idea for a scene in the movie that he ended up not using. Oh god. Damn it, Marv. Son of a bitch! He's so fast! It's so unfair! God, you pole smoking buttfucker! Oh, what do you do? <sighs> Again, I, I must I must reiterate that this game is fucking hard. So now you guys understand. You understand my struggle and why this has only happened for me one time. And I don't know how I did it. I really don't know how I did it. There's no rhyme or reason. Like you just you kind of just have to get lucky because. Like, sometimes Harry and Marv will be, like, super smart, and they'll, like, they'll just know exactly how to get you. What the fuck is that trap down there? What is it? Is that supposed to be... First of all, why is the kitchen on the second floor? Or is that a bathroom? I don't really know. What the fuck is that supposed to be? I don't even understand. It looks like it's, like, a like an explosive meatloaf or something. <laughs> they better not come into the bathroom, or they're gonna get the meatloaf. Mother's meatloaf is uh, god-awful. It's explosive in nature and inside of your butthole. But, um, I think that was actually supposed to be the pot that had the, uh, like, the firecrackers in it. I think would be kind of what they were aiming at there, which wasn't really, like, a trap in the movie. It was just something that was used. But back to the, back to the story. So, apparently, um, he had an idea that, um, when Kevin McAllister first finds out that his fam that he made his family disappear, was he was going to have like a dream sequence and like in this dream sequence of his look at, look at Harry's face that didn't look anything like his face at all what the fuck was that all about and like Marv like the next time we see Marv come down the stairs he totally looks like an old Russian man <laughs> he totally does the only thing I would be missing out of that would be him asking me for a senior discount I get that shit all the time so in this uh, this dream sequence what was supposed to happen was that um, Kevin's house would actually come alive and start, like, tormenting him, essentially. Which is exactly where the whole concept of, you know, the, the, the evil furnace, like, that's where that came from. 
They just decided to leave that in there, but apparently what was supposed to happen is the furnace was supposed to sprout legs and chase him up the, the basement stairs, and then there was supposed to be a bunch of evil nutcrackers that would chase him. Like, first of all, are you freaking kidding me? Like, that's terrifying! That would have, like, ruined our brains forever. It would have been fucking scary. I would have had nightmares about that probably still now. So I am really glad that they decided to, uh, you know, keep the evil furnace in there, though, because that's kind of like a... It still kind of, like, resembled a lot of fear that we had as kids. You know, like, just having, like, weird, evil parts of your house that are just, like, generally scary. But I guess, I guess it would have cost too much money for them to, like, go through the whole process of doing that, so they just totally didn't do it. Oh! Um, speaking of, uh, of Harry and Marv, um... So, Joe Pesci did it, and, like, I could never envision anybody else playing it, because Joe Pesci is awesome, and he's a guy that... I, I can't even imagine how hard it must have been for him to do that role, because, I mean, he's been in a lot of different movies where, you know, he swears a bunch. Like, he... Oh, damn it! I couldn't get that thing down fast enough! Son of a cum slut! It's just not happening for me today. It really isn't. Um, but apparently, uh, a couple other people that were offered the part of Harry were people that I could absolutely not envision doing that at all. And, like, apparently uh, Robert De Niro and John Lovitz were two guys <laughs> that were uh, that they that they were offered the part and they both decided not to do it. But I would imagine that, you know, that John Lovitz probably, uh, probably regrets that now at this point. I mean, Robert De Niro has had, like, a bajillion really good roles in his career, so I don't think it's really hurting him any, but I think John Lovitz could have uh, definitely stood to have, you know, a legendary movie under his belt that he's still making an ass load of money hand over fist over. <laughs> but hey, what do you do? I'm super happy that it was Joe Pesci and not anybody else, because he's just, like, the perfect guy. He's just, like, that, that, that token, really fucking angry guy that just can't contain himself, but he's just fucking cool at the same time. So, another thing um, that I learned, the, uh, like, the, the movie poster, like, the, the famous movie poster with, you know, Kevin, you know, having his hands on his face, doing the, ah, the, the scream thing that he did, you know, after, uh, after he did the fucking thing in the bathroom with the aftershave, which I still don't know why he screamed during that, because he didn't actually shave, but whatever. Um, he, uh, apparently the, the inspiration for him doing that was drawn from, uh, it's that famous, it's that famous painting called The Scream, the one with, like, the, the guy, it's pretty, it's, the guy is pretty much doing the same exact pose in that, and, uh, like, that's where the inspiration was drawn from. I don't remember the name of the guy that did that, I want to say his name was, like, Edward Munch, Munch, Edward Munch, I don't know if I'm saying it right, the guy's from, like, Europe or something, so, I don't know. But that's, uh, that's where they got the idea for, uh, for that thing. So, super tight that that happened. And then, um, oh, there's something else, there's something else that I was trying to think of. Like, another little factoid that was, that I thought was really cool when I heard it the first time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! So, uh, John Candy, the, the guy that played, uh, played Gus Polanski, you know, polka polka, fucking, uh, you know, that, that whole shit. Um, he actually, all of his, all of his stuff... They actually, his entire role in the film was shot over one continuous 23-hour, like, filming stint. Like, they did all of his stuff in one day. Or in less than one day, actually. So, freaking crazy. Like, imagine getting all that done. And, um, his, uh, his scene where he's talking to, uh, Kevin McAllister's mom in the back of the budget truck, uh, where he talks about, um forgetting his, his son at the funeral home and when they found him, he'd, he'd sit in there next to a corpse for hours or whatever. He actually, like, totally improvised that entire thing. Like, it wasn't even in the script at all. He just, like, totally made it up on the fly. And it was awesome. Like, you go back and you watch that movie and you totally... Like, you can't even tell, really, that like that, that was improvised at all. You totally think that was just something that was there. <laughs> Super tight. And then there's, like, that really weird conspiracy theory about, um, about Elvis being in there somewhere and that he's not actually dead which is really weird but he's totally dead so you know he's definitely not there i mean look at look at look at McAllister, man that guy just he just moonwalked for like an entire house it was fucking crazy i'm gonna go get that uh that explosive meatloaf out of this thing yeah here we go we are rolling right now Beep, 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 beep. 
mean, this, I don't know, I, I'm trying to figure out, like, I mean, there, there's only one guy that composed the music for this game, but it's just, like, so far off. I don't know, it's just, there's something about it that just seems really weird to me, and I can't really put my finger on what it is. But it's so, like, intoxicating at the same time, like, I don't want to not listen to it now. Meanwhile, we're actually doing, well, I guess we're kind of in the same area that I've been in virtually every time we've done this so far, but, hey, what do you do? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we'll pick up one of these. Is it just me, or is Kevin actually running a little bit faster now? It seems like he's actually moving quicker. Alright, here we go. I do, I do like the fact that um, there are two different themes in here, though. Like, when you go into the into the treehouse over here... <laughs> he's gonna call the cops from a treehouse?! Wow, that was really close. That was, like, pixel perfect right there. Are you scared, Mav? Are you afraid? Oh god, he is just right on my ass right now. I'm gonna kill that kid! I mean, we are on the third floor, though, you know? Third floor? It's scary up there! Oh god, this is this is bad news. The one the one part that kind of sucks as far as the, as far as traps are concerned is that they'll only fall for a trap once. Like if you were to leave a trap on the ground, like say somebody ran to this one, like they wouldn't be able to run into it again. Like you actually have, you'd have to you have to pick it up and then drop it again. That's the only way. Okay. Where the fuck is he going? Why is he doing that? Why why are they both going that way? <laughs> why did they do that? They could have totally just gone down the stairs right after me. But they're being total morons. You see, look, they did it again! I could totally just stay here right now. I'm totally gonna do that. Until they somebody comes after me. Like these guys are fucking morons. They're still doing it. Why are they not coming out here? I might want to put down another trap just in case, but still, like, what the fuck are these guys doing? They're just like, where could he have gone? I don't understand where he went! I'm out here, you big horse's ass! Like, he's doing it again! Where are these guys going? Is this, like, totally a glitch where they just won't come outside if I'm standing right here? That doesn't look anything like Harry, by the way. That just looks like a random guy. <laughs> oh, here we go. Finally! Finally, somebody was bold enough to... Oh, God! Okay, alright, alright. I probably shouldn't have done that for as long as I did. Oh, my God. Alright. One of each down there. <laughs> I love the noise that it makes when they hit those things. Just... <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my god. Like, what the hell did this guy use to make the music for this damn game with? He's like a fucking toaster or something? Here we go. Oh yeah. I think I might call this my last uh, my last run of this uh, particular level here, because we're actually doing pretty good. And like, if in the event that I oh in the event that I actually survive, I mean, this is gonna be a long, long episode. So we'll just see what happens. But and not to mention my throat's starting to hurt a little bit from talking. Oh boy, where are you at, Marv? I know you're here somewhere. Oh, okay, never mind. God. Yeah, see there there was the evidence right there that. A guy cannot run into a trap twice in a row. God, I hate... Why, like, why in the hell is Kevin, like... I don't understand, like, why he's not in the middle of the screen. Like, why is he all the way up there? Like, if somebody were to pop out of nowhere, you'd be totally screwed. Hello, Kevin! That furnace, man. Ugh. So glad I never had a basement growing up. That would have been just my worst nightmare, having to deal with that. Like, one thing, like, I've, I mean, I have a furnace in my garage, but, I mean, it's not nearly as terrifying as, as this. Oh, God. I mean, if I gotta chill down here again, I'm totally gonna do it. These guys are making it so easy on me right now, like... Oh, look at that! Look at him stun up the stairs, that's tight. Oh, God. Oh, no, okay, yeah, we're, we need to get the fuck out of here. We're, we're getting ourselves into, into a bad spot. Here we go. No, no, no. Go up the stairs, you moron! There we go. Jesus. God, I, I really would love to see these guys, like, if they hit a, a trap on, like, a ladder or a stairwell or something, that they actually would, like, fall down to the bottom of it, instead of just being able to just fall in place right there. 
It would make more sense. And, like, you can't place traps on that rope. Which is weird. I mean, you can put it on everything else. <laughs> you can put traps on, you know, the, the gutter pipe outside. But no. Oh, no. There will be none of this other thing here. Oh, God. I mean, Harry's the one that's really giving me a run for my money right now. Marv has been pretty much checked out this whole time. I don't really know where he's been. Oh, there he is. Speak of the devil. <laughs> the actual living devil! Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I probably could've just gone down to the basement, but I didn't do it. I didn't do it! Oh, explosive meatloaf! Come to Papa! Oh, my God. Holy shit! Oh my god, no! Oh, I thought I'd put it down fast enough! Oh, no! I mean, rip a donkey in half, you know? Just... Oh, fucking damn it. We did really well, too. We were almost halfway there. <laughs> if you can actually call that good, like, it really isn't that good, but god damn it. Oh, well, shit. Alright, guys, this... I think I'm just going to call it good here, though. Obviously, there's no way in hell I'm going to get through this thing. And I think uh, my stomach's starting to hurt, so I'm going to go I'm gonna go make some chicken noodle soup. And see if Home Alone's on, actually, because I'll bet it probably is. It's probably on, like, AMC or a ABC Family. I really hope it's on AMC, though, because ABC Family always cuts a bunch of shit out, and I hate that. So, yeah. Until then, though, my friends, thank you for stopping by and watching me, you know, play through uh, one, of my f one of my games of my childhood that really wasn't that good, but hey, it's my favorite movie series, and I gotta support it anyways, so thanks a lot, guys. This is AMF saying thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.